How you doing YouTube? This is Chris Muso here with another video about DualSense controller and exactly how you can connect that to your PC. Maybe you don't like Xbox's controller. Sometimes some people feel like it's too big for their hands. So you wanna hook up a DualSense controller to your PC. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that with these really easy steps. All you have to do is listen to this whole video and you will not have any issues at all. Now I will show you how to connect your DualSense controller and even get haptic feedback on it. So stay tuned and watch the whole video to know exactly how to install a DualSense controller on your PC. Don't forget if you found this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna join the big wonderful fan band where we love to talk about tech and if you're into tech, you came to the right place. You can join the big, wonderful fan bam right down here and hit that subscribe button for more. Now let's get straight into it because I know you wanna be able to play your games with the DualSense controller. And don't worry, you may have heard some things that you may not be able to play your DualSense controller on every single game, but that's not true, that is just a myth. I'll show you exactly how you can play every game with your DualSense controller and it's not exactly too hard at all. Just make sure you follow every step and you shouldn't run into any issues at all. You may experience some different controller mappings on your keys because Microsoft is not programmed for PlayStation controllers. So you may run into a QTE scene and might say A, B, X, and Y for Microsoft's controller. It still works great regardless of any of those issues. There's only a few things that you will need if you wanna connect wirelessly to your PC. First step is make sure that your motherboard has Bluetooth. If it has Bluetooth, make sure it is version 5.1 because DualSense is version 5.1. If you want to make sure and ensure that you have full compatibility with DualSense controller. You also need a USB-A to a USB-C cord. And of course, the last thing that you will need, you will need a DualSense controller, of course. All you need is these three things and you will be able to hook up your DualSense controller to your PC. And on top of that, I'll show you exactly how you can play any game with your DualSense controller, regardless of the whole compatibility rumor that you hear. So first things first is you wanna make sure your Windows build has Bluetooth in it. You're gonna to wanna to hit Windows X, go to Device Manager. As you can see, my motherboard is equipped with Bluetooth. And now that I know that it is, and I am ready to install a DualSense controller to my PC. You wanna go down to the search bar and you're gonna to begin to type Bluetooth. Click Bluetooth and other settings. You're gonna click add Bluetooth or other device. You're gonna click Bluetooth. To enter parent mode, all you have to do is hold the share button and hold the PlayStation button together at the same time for about three seconds, it should enter pairing mode. And it should start blinking just like this. And as your DualSense controller is pairing, as you can see, wireless controller, it will connect. Your device is ready to go. Now we know it is connected to PC. But the thing is, even though it's connected to PC, we gotta make sure it works. That's the important part, right? So you wanna go to, you could go into Steam Big Picture mode to give it a shot to see if it is working. Let's go to big picture mode. Looks like it is pretty responsive. And the really nice thing is if you're using this with Steam, believe it or not, you have every function as you do from PlayStation. You will have X, circle, square, and triangle. I really hate the fact that they put Shenmue 3 through Epic Games. And because I did not do that backer survey, I ended up losing out on having Shenmue 3 on Steam. It would have been really nice to have it here as I prefer Steam as the top platform on PC. We know it's functioning correctly on Steam, but what if it's a non-Steam game like Grand Theft Auto 5 that you don't have on Steam? Or maybe you have Shenmue 3 on Epic Games just like I do. And you wanna make sure that works. I will have the link down below for 
DS4 Windows. So we have a 64-bit architecture. Download for your architecture. It'll download in a zip file format. Once it is downloaded, go to DS4 Windows, extract it to your desktop for ease of access. As you can see up here, DS4 Windows, we're gonna open that up. Right click DS4 Windows and run as administrator. Click yes and click program folder. And right there, we have it connected. Set the color you want for your DualSense controller. Now it should work flawlessly. So let's go to Shenmue 3 and give it a shot. Yep, works great. No issues here at all. Only problem of course is if, if you're playing outside of Steam, it will not show those controllers. As you can see in Shenmue 3, it showed A and B instead of X and circle. So keep that in mind. If you're playing on Steam, it will link those functions just to those DualSense controller, customized for your needs. So that's why I always prefer Steam. It's much more better, I feel, to do everything on Steam itself. But now you wanna to try to figure out how to get haptic feedback enabled, and I'll show you exactly how you can do that. It's not really all that hard, but of course you will need a USB-A to USB-C cable because it will not do this through Bluetooth. Now, if you're interested in doing this, Make sure you go down to the description box down below and you're going to have to download voice meter for windows 10. When you go to the website, it should look something like this. You're going to download the execute file. We're going to open this up, click yes, install. So make sure you restart your PC after it is installed as it requires it. So once Windows restarts, make sure you're inside a voice meter. When you're in voice meter, you're going to have to change the default sound setting. And the way to do that is go down to what looks like a speaker icon, right click it, and then what you have to do is go into sound settings. You're going to want to change your output device to voice meter input. With your input device, you're going to leave it exactly how it is. You don't have to worry about touching it. So for A1, make sure you select your wireless controller for it. Typically, I like to set mine to WDM speaker wireless controller, but you do have the option of MME speaker wireless controller. Now for A2, you're going to select your option for your default audio device. And typically your default audio device will be a Realtek USB audio driver. So for mine's I put WDM speaker, Realtek USB audio. Next, make sure you go down to stereo repeat and you're gonna make that option enabled. So click that and it will turn blue. So your settings should look something like this. After those settings, you should have haptic feedback enabled on your DualSense controller. It should respond pretty sensitively. So when you're playing games such as Shenmue 3 or something with a soundtrack, it will also respond to the soundtrack as well. Now, it seems like it's responding to each sound and each vibration, and the DualSense controller seems to be responding really well. So it looks like every function's working correctly so far. And of course, because Shenmue 3 is outside of Steam, it will not have X, circle, triangle, or square. It will respond to the Xbox 360's controller or it will correlate with it. DualSense is a very good option and a very good alternative controller if you do not prefer Xbox's controller. Now, a haptic feedback works really excellent. You just gotta make sure that you have USB-A to USB-C connect it at all times if you disconnect it more than likely you will have to reboot your pc in order to keep haptic feedback enabled otherwise it will unlink itself from your pc i hope you guys found this content very useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy content just like this and you want to join the big wonderful fan bam make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button 
And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.